Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, and you're watching the Neo Linux Introduction Pack. And we have about 10 or 11 levels left. Uh, not much left. I know the pace has been glacial, but man, time has not been on my side in 2021, for the most part, when it comes to recording stuff like this. But we're almost there. We're almost through training. We're almost fully Neo Linux certified, fully rated for Microsoft Linux Simulator. And today, we're going to start with, sorry, job already taken. Sorry, that position has already been filled. Three lemmings, and we must save three of them. What is the trick here? If two platformers are assigned at the same spot, one is quite often canceled as the other one places bricks in his way, blocking his path. I think we've seen that already. Uh, we've seen that demonstrated in other levels already. If they work in sync, or in such a way that both of their bricks will still... Extend the platform. Okay, if they work in sync or in such a way that both of their bricks will still extend the platform, they can coexist. Here we want to cancel all but one and turn the other lemmings around as a result. If you have trouble achieving this, try changing the position of assignment of the platformers. Even a release rate change could be helpful if you want the lemmings to come out at a more fitting interval. Okay, so we want to cancel all the platformers but one so they're gonna walk off to the right as I can see here and then okay so now what we're gonna do is okay they're gonna end up canceling each other into oblivion it looks like uh, the first one is gonna do do his business okay yeah so I see uh, one of them is eventually gonna walk off into the abyss here and one of them is gonna be a one of them's going to float, one of them's going to swim. Okay, let, let's see if I grasp what is being asked of me here. Okay, so, alright. Alright. Okay. Alright, yeah, so we turned him around. That's not too hard a thing to do. I think it's, I think it's kind of been done already. Yeah, that's, that's super easy to do. Okay, so now you're going to be a floater. You're going to come up the other way here. Alright, I think you should be able to... Let's see. Okay, yeah. You're going there. Oh, well, okay. Alright, so one is now safely headed for the exit. Good. And we have one, two... Let's see. What's going to what's gonna happen here? That's not going to be a safe fall, I don't think, though. Mmm. So then what's going to happen? All but one needs to be cancelled. So, same deal here, right? Yeah, this is going to be a fatal... Yeah, this is just barely not a safe drop. So then what do I do with that one? Okay, let's see here. Yeah, you go over here. You start in on this. And then you'll turn around. But yeah, he cannot be allowed to do that. No, I think I understand. Never mind. Okay, so they can coexist. Okay. We're going to make this one. No. Mm. No, yeah, we want to cancel one, right? We want to cancel this back one. But yeah, if he goes down there... Oh, okay. I think I see the need for the other platform. Okay, okay. I get where that final platform comes from. Okay, so you just go to here, basically. Okay, I, all right, okay. That took a little long for me to see there, actually. Okay, so then you will... Yeah, we'll do the same thing here. And then, uh, okay. And then you'll start in there. Okay, and that should... Yeah, that should provide a safe drop. Very good. And then you're the swimmer. So you go to the exit. Okay, I get it. Ha 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 ha. Very funny, very cute. Into the acid you go. Blending in with the carbolic acid. And so they are each coming in from their own separate directions. I like it. I like it. Very nice. Okay, not too bad a level there. Not too bad a little tutorial. Enjoying that one. Very good, very good. So then what's next? Hit me with the next shot. Blockers blindside. Twelve lemmings, and we must save five of them. That's uh, 
Okay, what is what is the blind side of a blocker? What is was that? Dude, the turn field of a blocker only has a certain size, and if placed on a steep step, lemmings can get around it. That's usually the kind of thing you find out by accident, but I think we're going to see how it's going to be used on purpose here. The blocker will then let the lemmings pass from one side and then block them from the other. Also, the turn field affects followers, causing them to turn around in midair with a well-placed blocker. Let's see these things in action. Okay, so I have a feeling we're going to get these two levels and then we're going to have one where we try uh, where we try both of these things out. Okay, so... All right, Going up the way, then. What do we want to achieve here? Alright, let's, uh... This looks a little confusing. Let's work it backwards. Okay, yeah. So... Yeah, I think the idea is you want your followers to turn around when they hit this drop. Two bombers, though. Or maybe we want to go right here with this bomber, and then they go bop, bop, into the... Okay, what's... Let's just kind of roll for now. With it for now. Maybe I misunderstood what I was reading earlier. I know for sure what we want to do is... He goes up here. They're going to go through it. No, they don't go through him. Never mind. Okay, so... Uh, the Turner... The Turner Classic Movie Field here. Maybe it's right up this little bit. I think they walk underneath. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got that going then. Alright, and how do we... There must be some way to evade the trap here. Okay, yeah. They're definitely going to be set off. But how do we avoid that? Let me do some rereading real quick. I think I I think I kind of glossed over it a little too fast, maybe. Oops. I always forget that you gotta go all the way back to the main menu to see the text again. The turn flock turn flock. The turn field of a blocker only has a certain size. And if placed on a steep step, lemmings can get around it. The blocker will then pass let the lemmings pass from one side and block them from the other. Also, the turn field affects fallers. Causing them to turn around in midair with a well-placed blocker. Okay, yeah, but what does that have to do with the trap thing here? And how are we going to get up over this way? Alright, so we're going to be navigating this somehow, it looks like. Alright, so first order of business, I think, is we want to have... How are we going to get over the way here? I think we want to do this at the very least. But then climbing over... Am I missing something here? Like, are we going to be using the... And it affects the fallers to get them to turn around in midair? So, like, do I have to get up on top of here somehow and go over this thing this thing is hollowed out so maybe no we only have one more blocker so we're gonna need it we're gonna need a bomber and a blocker at the end here I think but what is the glider supposed to be accomplishing okay Hmm. Are we going to use compression to get through here? That might be what it's asking. Okay, just a sec. Okay. Alright, so then... Let's try that. I think I might be being asked to compress through here. Okay. So I'm going to wait till I get up to this step. Oh, the release rate is locked. Dang it. Okay. Well, that's not the worst thing ever then, I suppose. Okay, so get in up through there. All right, let's get them all. Let's get them all squunched together here. All right. Well, no, now that doesn't really do anything. I need I need a walking bomber to get in there, but I do need them all to get in there though. 
So now we're just going to have someone blow up right here. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, they're kind of compressing themselves. Okay, I see. Alright, so they're going to go through the trap then. It's not the... Not the fanciest little line of... Okay. Okay, which one's the last one here? What, this one, I think? Okay, oh, that's not... Okay, yeah. Alright, wow, that thing is really slow. And that actually... I think that activates exactly what we need. So... Okay, so we have one more guy going up through here. Okay, so they're going to go up in here for now. And how is that going to get them out? Okay, we have a glider. Okay, so we've kind of compressed a bunch of them through the way here. Hmm, and they're going to go up into here. And they get stuck. We don't want them to go... We don't want them to go down into here. Because then they'd walk back through the ropes. So then... Two climbers. So we have eight lemmings left. Five have to be saved. Seven of them are right here. Alright. This one is a little bit slow to figure out, but... Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, let's just get them all up in this space for now. And then one of them will have to... A couple of them will have to climb out, obviously. But how are we gonna... Where's a where's a magical space that'll bomb them for... Oh! Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm seeing it. We're gonna have to bomb up here to give them a step. Okay, so one of you is gonna climb, obviously. So, yeah. So, what we want, then... Okay, yeah. Okay, I think what's gonna happen is... This guy's gonna be a glider, and he's gonna go to here... And he's going to have to block at the edge. Yeah. He's going to have to block the edge to turn them around in mid-fall like the thing taught us. Okay, so. Where's the closest he can get? Let's go here. Let's, let's put his arm out. Does it show where? Yeah, it shows the, it shows the blocking. Okay, so someone is going to climb now. And then, yeah, we're going to have a bomber right here to free them up. There we go. Alright, and if I did this correctly, they should turn around. The blockers should turn them around in mid-fall. And they go to the exit, and that's five of them saved. Yep, in fact, I think we got a few more in than we were supposed to. No, we got exactly the right amount, I think. Let's go ahead and nuke. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. That one was a little slow for me to process, but... But I got it. And it wasn't too bad little bit of I mean the tricks were things that you've seen before I think definitely going up through a step that's something that's something you run into by accident in lemmings and it kind of makes you mad but it was kind of used to it was kind of used to your advantage here to create a compression effect so they could walk through the rope trap and then okay all right okay cool yeah, okay, so I think now we're going to combine these things in the next level, probably. Beam up the equipment. Oh boy, teleporters. Eight lemmings. Gotta save eight. Very nice. Can't remember if this is a trap, if the little Ed 209 is a trap in this, or if it's just a background detail. Don't really remember. Teleporters teleport lemmings with all their current properties. For example, a builder lemming... Building into a teleporter will continue his bridge on the other side. Was that true in Lemmings 2? That's bizarre. Okay, we're going to try this out in this level with a couple of skills. And this is probably going to be where we stop today. Because this is level 13. And uh, the next one is one I've also heard was kind of uh, infamous. So, okay. So we're going to be going... We're going to be going mid... Okay, you're going to go into the teleporter, and let's see where that brings you. Okay. Triggers. Very nice. Okay, where did... Okay, this one went to here. Alright. 
Uh huh. Wait. So, so does mid? So does all the properties mean you were falling when that was activated? Let's see about that. Is he gonna splat? Yes, he is. Okay. So yeah. That. Oh, I kind of wondered about that. So this one we're gonna. This one we're gonna have float, and it's gonna get to the exit. Okay. So now this one is going to go to here, and it's gonna come out here on this side. All right. So, what now? All right, so we we're gonna have a, at least a climber. I think the climber is gonna be the one. Yeah, they're gonna go into here, and the rest are gonna be fine. So we need, we need a climber. So you go and do your thing. Okay, so what are we going to be doing inside the? Okay. All right, where do you come out? All right, very good. Okay, so you're going to be fencing when you get inside the teleporter. Am I to? Am I to understand correctly? I think so, yeah. So you're going to fence in. In, out, probably going to go to here. Is that... No, that's not a trap. So yeah, you're going and doing that. And you're going to continue. <laughs> well, isn't that a slice of fried gold? That's cute. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then he should go from here to... I think this will put him here. Yep, and then we just bash the rest to safety. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, I'm not up against steel, am I? That doesn't... That didn't make any sense. Okay, and they're gonna all go one at a time. Only one can be on the pad at a time. That's wonderful. That's... It's kind of slow, actually. Ugh, oof. Okay, so... Whoa, it almost is like... Whoa, that was weirdly synced up. That's... Whoa, it does sync up. I'm seeing double here. Four crusties. Yowza. Okay, wow, that is a that creates a weird effect. But it does create the effect we need to actually win the level, which is good. Okay, so the last couple of lemmings are beaming up. The whole away team has arrived safely. Okay. And so next time. Next time is one of those levels that eco Talot warned me about so we're not going to go and do it now but uh this is another one that i think that people this one coming up is one that people had trouble parsing and had a really hard time with so we're going to save it for next time because i'm pretty certain it's going to be a potpourri type of level that used all of the things that we learned here today and uh we are going to have to really put all our skills to the test to pass that level. So I will see you guys next time for more sometimes correctly advanced, but also sometimes too advanced training.